Hi, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm excited to share with you six fragrances that I think smell like money. So I'm going to share them with you. I'm not going to go so much into notes, but I'm going to share with you the vibe that they give me. And yeah, I can't wait. So uh, before I get started, if you haven't subscribed, feel free to hit that button. Join the weird and wonderful family. I would love to have you part of the community. And for those of you that are always coming back, I, I just appreciate you guys so much. So thank you so much. And yeah, uh, should we do this? I think so. So I'm thinking of doing a video like this, but more like smell bougie on a budget. But these ones, when I smell them, to me, they just smell like money. So I wanted to share them with you. They all kind of bring out a whole vibe in my mind. So I'll share that with you. And we're gonna start with Tom Ford's Noir Pour Femme. Now all of these, I've kind of shared the vibe before, but this one, this one smells so luxurious. This one smells like uh, you're getting dressed up for some fancy evening gala or going to the opera. But I'm thinking more along the lines of some rich executive party where you're going, it's in the winter time, so you're wearing a beautiful velvet dress. It may be red, maybe black, probably have gloves on. You're riding in the back of a limo and you're with a very, very handsome man in a tuxedo. That's the vibe that I get, the, get with this one. It smells luxurious. It smells uh, rich, it smells opulent, it smells very gourmand, so there's a lot of vanilla, kind of a spicy vanilla is what you get with this, uh, just at its base form. Absolutely stunning fragrance. And if you want to smell rich for the evening, go with Noir Pour Femme. Now the next fragrance that I think smells totally like money, uh, but this one is more old money, is Santal Royal by Guerlain. I get a total old world vibe. So I, the, the, the first uh, kind of image that comes to my head would be Catherine Zeta-Jones, I think that was her name, uh, when she was in Zorro, and so kind of like that Spanish uh, rich hacienda uh, type scenario, um, barns, uh, leather, uh, a little bit of earthiness. Uh, this has spice, like there's cinnamon in this, there's oud, there's rose. Um, I definitely get a lot of cinnamon and there's a beautiful sweetness. It doesn't smell too sweet, uh, but there's a beautiful sweetness that kind of rounds out more of those woody tones and that leather. Uh, but yeah, I just imagine uh, a beautiful, um, gorgeous woman wearing kind of one of those Spanish dresses. So like with the bustiers, like Catherine Zeta-Jones in Zorro, like that's what I think of. So she's really loaded. She's very feisty. She gets on um, a beautiful uh, steed, like stallion. Uh, the You can smell the leather in the barn. You can smell that earthiness somehow, like it doesn't smell like manure or anything like that. Like it's not like a barnyard smell at all. It Like it's way too opulent for barnyard, but there is an earthy quality to it. Maybe it's the man that's been like riding on his steed for a while. I don't know. All I know is that this is so sexy. So it smells like Catherine Zeta-Jones and Antonio Banderas, so an old world wealth. That's what I get from this one. I love wearing this one, it's so awesome. Yeah, it's just absolutely stunning, like so luxurious and rich. Decadent, love it. Now the next one I have for you is Milano by Fragrance Dubois. So this one, um, it smells uh, like there's a fruity component to this one. I believe there's saffron in it, there's leather. Uh, so there's a bit of smokiness to it, almost a little bit like a cigarette vibe to it. Uh, and it just smells, it smells very uh, rich but understated. So when I smell this one, I think of a woman, she's been shopping in Milan. She has herself a beautiful Hermes uh, Birkin bag, but other than that, you wouldn't know. She's not dripping in designers because she's actually more wealthy than that. Like instead of going with all the designer uh, brands and showing off other than of course her Birkin because who doesn't have a Birkin when you're that loaded? <laughs> anyway, uh, she has a crisp white shirt on 
a nice pair of tailored navy trousers and a beautiful pair of loafers. Um, she is sophisticated. She's got gold jewelry on, but again, it's a little bit more dainty. She's not being too flashy, uh, but she has these nice big sunglasses on and she is enjoying her cup of coffee before she goes and shops some more. So the only reason why you'd know she's wealthy is because she's extremely ta tailored, extremely classy, and she smells like Milano. Now the next three are a little bit lighter uh, fragrances. The first one is Tom Ford's Eau de Soleil Blanc. Now this is really, it's pretty beachy, but for whatever reason, this is high-end beach. This is, this is beyond beach. This is yacht. Uh, I've said it before, this woman, she wears, uh, you know, this in her white kind of gauzy, cover up over her beautiful bathing suit and she is uh yeah she she has people that look after her quite nicely <laughs> it smells uh, sophisticated but beach this one doesn't last very long but i just absolutely love it now the next woman that wears terracotta by guerlain she summers in the south of France. She stays at a hotel for the summer. Uh, you know, she's looked after really well. Like she has uh, paid staff that kind of take care of everything that she needs. She has an assistant, uh, but she wants to just relax. And so she puts on terracotta and she smells like a very rich, uh, woman that's vacationing. So she wears a big sun hat. She wears a beautiful dress. Uh, it's kind of a little bit more flowy, but very, very lady ladylike. That's terracotta. The terracotta, there is a quality to this that's a little bit oily. So there's this floral component, a little bit of tropical florals, a little bit of coconut. But to me, it smells very similar to like a Moroccan oil. So there's an oil quality, but a very luxurious, rich oil. This one is just absolutely stunning. I love, love, love wearing this one. And the longevity is pretty decent. Like you're going to get about six hours on this one. So love it. If you can find it, get it. It's it's readily available in Canada. Um, so you can get it at the Bay, you can get it at Chopper's Drug Mart. I believe it's easy to get a hold of in Europe, but it's almost impossible in the States. I don't know why, but I'm very thankful that we have this because it's so, so beautiful. Now my last fragrance that smells like money, like if you want to smell like that rich lady, you're going to wear this. So this is Prada La Femme. Uh, this one, again, the bottle, like, okay, this just speaks to money. Like this one, this bottle is just stunning. Now this fragrance, she is, she totally reminds me of Miranda Priestley from The Devil Wears Prada. So she wears kind of big glasses when she's traveling. She rides in the back of a limo. I think that she's wearing kind of a, um, a winter white wool suit. Uh, quite often. Uh, she also probably carries a Birkin bag. Uh, she um, tells people what to do. She's the boss lady. She gets the job done. She's a little bit ruthless, but she's got a softer side, a sweeter side to her as well. Same thing with this perfume. So this is white florals. It's quite heady, but there's also like, like carrot seeds, which is similar to Oris. So there's kind of a sweet, softer component to this, uh, maybe even a little bit powdery, uh, but then there's spices in this as well, uh, which just makes it interesting to me. Uh, this is tuberose heavy. Um, so if you don't like tuberose, stay away from this. And it's not your bubblegum tuberose. This is more of that heady floral tub tuberose, but I just think it's beautiful. Um, yeah, this one smells rich for sure. And that is it. Those are my smelling like a rich, smelling like money fragrances. There's quite a few more I could share with you, but these are the six that really stand out to me. So I hope that you enjoyed it. What is your favorite smell like money fragrance? Like if you want to smell bougie and rich, what do you pull out? Leave it in the comments. Tell us so that we can sniff them too and maybe to add them to our collection. And other than that, have an amazing week. We'll talk to you soon.